In this session, we're going to look at how we can label Civil 3D content through an external reference. On my screen, I have a drawing that represents a utility plan. Let me zoom in. Right here, I have a pressure network, and the screen geometry represents a sanitary pipe network. As you can see, these utilities are labeled. As I pan around, we can take a look at the labels. Labels look really good. None of them are encroaching on the other. If we look at the annotation scale, we can see this is set to 1 inch equals 40. So all these labels are properly sized for a 1 inch equals 40 plot. Let's assume that the majority of the sheets in my plan set are designed to plot at 1 inch equals 40 feet. Knowing that, I'm going to zoom out and we can see the majority of this drawing is labeled. Let's jump over to another drawing. I'm going to select this file called Plan Sheet. Let's assume for a second that I just started this drawing, and the very first thing I did was externally referenced the sample drawing that we just looked at. Since it's an external reference, all of the graphics came along. We can see the utilities, the contours, and the labels. Just for a second, we'll jump out to this utility plan layout. This layout contains a pair of viewports that are focused on the intersection areas. Now, here's the issue. These viewports are designed to plot at 1 inch equals 20 feet. If I pan this over, I can see that my labels have resized just like they're supposed to. Unfortunately, I don't like the position that much. You can see the label for my sanitary manhole 3 is kind of drifting away from the structure. I'd like to move this over. As I pan this around a little bit more, I may want to make a couple other changes. Maybe I'd like to change the location of this leader. Here's the problem. If I double click in this viewport and I select the leader, I can't change these labels here because they're living in a different drawing. Now I could go to that drawing if I wanted to and I could move these around and that might make the labels look good on this sheet, but I might be messing up their location on other sheets where this drawing is referenced. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to double click back on the sheet to jump out of the viewport and then I'm going to jump over to model space. From here, I'll hide the labels coming from the XREF. I'll do that by going to the layers panel and then I'll click the layer freeze button let me mention that I've set up my templates such that these labels are being placed on their own layer. I'm doing that using the Object Layers tab within the drawing settings. By doing that, I could select one of my pressure network labels, for instance. It'll freeze the layer, which hides all of the labels. Let's hide the pipe network pipe labels and structure labels. I'll press escape when finished. Now I'm just going to label this content in this local drawing. Civil 3D has no problem labeling objects through an external reference. All I have to do is come up and select the annotate tab. And then I'll choose the Add Labels Price Tag. In the Add Labels dialog box, I will select the feature that I want to label. In this case, I'll choose Pressure Pipe Network. I'm going to label the entire pressure network in the plan view. I'll keep the default labels in this case, and I'll click Add. And then I will zoom in and select the pressure network. Civil 3D recognizes it through the external reference and adds the labels. Now let's change our annotation scale to 20. That's the scale that we want for our viewport. Now these are properly sized for that viewport scale. I can then pull these out and place them where I like in this file. There is nothing wrong with creating labels like this. These labels are just as dynamic as the labels that exist in the host drawing. The difference is, since these labels are local, I have 100% control over their placement. Let's drag this up, and I'll drag out this other fitting label. Let's create a couple more labels. I'm going to open the feature menu, and this time we'll choose Pipe Network. We'll label the entire network in the plan view. I'll keep the default label styles and I'll click Add. I will then come over and select the pipe network. Civil 3D recognizes the utility, places the labels, and I have full control over their location in this drawing. In the event the external reference changes, the utilities change, all of these labels will update in this file as well. There we go. Let's slide this one up a little bit. One more time, I'm going to open the Feature menu. Just for a second, take a look at the items in this list. Feel free to experiment with some of these others. Civil 3D makes it very easy to label content through an external reference. I'm going to choose the surface this time. Let's use Contour Multiple for the label type. I'll keep the default styles and I'll click Add. I will then select the surface. Civil 3D recognizes it through the XREF. And then I can click and drag out some labels. Let's do one more. I'll click Add. I'll select the surface, and we'll drag out some labels over here. When I'm finished, I'll press Escape, and then I can close the Add Labels dialog box. Finally, let's jump back to the Utility tab, and we can take a look at the drawing through the viewport. So the next time you're creating Civil 3D labels, remember that you don't always have to place them in the host drawing. Civil 3D can also label through an external reference, giving you even more control over the positioning of your annotations. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by visiting the URL listed below.